Hail Omar from People's Vaccine KE. Thank you very much for um, giving me this opportunity to interview you. So my first question to you is, what's People's Vaccine KE about? People's Vaccine KE is actually a campaign that seeks to ensure that once the vaccine is safe to use, the government of Kenya, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, will make it accessible to all uh, 52 million Kenyans. It'll be free of charge. There'll be no design exclusion that we've seen based on class or financial ability. Once Pfizer finds the vaccine and acknowledges that it's safe to use, the trials have gone 100% perfect, we're afraid that vaccine nationalism will come up. And now a very simple explanation of vaccine nationalism is where countries um, have institutes or research institutes that have found this vaccine will give priority to the country. So they will allow them to, even if there's a target, because the World Health Organization is trying to ensure that each country has a target on the doses you can get. We are afraid that these countries will give bias to the countries of origin or where they're being hosted and allow them to make ensure their populations are all vaccinated before it goes to the other countries. So first vaccine nationalism comes in very different, in many forms, because we are afraid there's no research-based company in Kenya that's working on the vaccine other than Kemri, and Kemri is working on the queues of all these other um, global organizations and the World Health Organization. So we are afraid uh, that Kenya and many countries in the global south maybe aren't even visible in that list we're looking at. Because once we look at the superpowers, once we look at European countries, once we look at the Middle East, once we look at countries where there's a uh, humanitarian focus, um, a lot of countries in Africa, we are afraid, will get this vaccine um, later, I would say. Many doctors in African countries have raised the issue that there's under-testing, there's under-reporting on the vaccine. There's virtually no free testing today in Kenya if we decide to take to start mapping out free, free testing centers. So what factual um, statistical data can we truly believe as credible to say that today there's been 1,000 cases of COVID-19 in Kenya, but there's no free testing. When you go to Madari and we, when we were asking them the questions, they would tell us, I've never gotten a vaccine before and I don't know what a vaccine is. But when you continue um, asking the questions or having the discussions, they'll be like, oh yeah, I do have this mark on my arm and I think I got a vaccine when I was young. So they know that a vaccine is something that's something for babies. So it needs a lot of discussion. It needs a lot of, we need to trust the government. As Kenyans, we don't trust the government and we are right to do so because the government has left us on our own during a global pandemic. We've seen this corruption scandals all going through the pandemic. A prime example would be the government handouts as humanitarian aid came and disappeared. We don't know.